Hey there. So, I suppose this is the part where I'd say a pickup line? I'd try, but I'd rather keep you from thinking I'm some kind of creepy freak, you know? And my mother always told me actions speak louder than words, so... How about I give you a reason to stick around? Your drink there. It looks a little... How should I put it? Weak? No. Cheap. Not befitting of you. No. Someone like you deserves the best in the house. Excuse me? Yes, thank you. 1965 Chateau Neuf de Pap, please. Two glasses. In fact, bring the bottle. I'm thirsty. What? Never indulged before? No. Oh, you're worried about how much it costs? Oh dear, you're adorable. Prices to me don't matter much these days, honestly. It's like growing out of a habit you used to have when you were a child. It's all just sad now. Not unlike you, unfortunately. Here. Drink. It will make you feel more alive. Anyway, we've never formally met before, have we? I'm... We go to the same college together. Same year, too. In fact, same course as well. Oh, I've noticed you, but you just never bothered to say hello. <laughs> and I mean, can I blame you? I must say, you've been looking rather down for weeks. May I ask what's wrong? Well, I see you in class, silly. Slumped over like a sloth. Eyelids drooping. Same clothes every day. Looks like someone's not sleeping well. I can give you something for that if you like. Let's just say I'm... resourceful. Now drink again. Tell me what's been bothering you. At least it's a conversation starter, no? You had a fight with your friend? I see. She lied about liking your crush, and now they're together. <laughs> and you don't feel like you have a purpose. You don't know how to feel things anymore. Oh, dear. That must be so awful. If I may, something's still got me perplexed. You've not been taking care of yourself for weeks, and yet, tonight you look utterly, unquestionably divine. What changed? What made you decide to make an effort for once? You were looking for something to take your mind off things. Huh. Well... I can certainly think of someone who can take your mind off things. Well then, darling. Let's draw a line and say that today is your time to begin anew. Starting now, we're gonna make sure your life is lived to the fullest. Hey. Wanna get out of here? Well, by all means, darling, lead the way.
Ah, it's a wonderful evening, wouldn't you say? The stars are out, the air is wonderfully fresh, and nobody else is around to disturb us. Hmm, what's the matter, darling? You look a little on edge. What's wrong? You've never done something like this before? Meeting a stranger at a bar and seeing where things lead? Ha! <laughs> You're such a sweet little bird. I'm flattered. But there's no need to be nervous. We're going to have such fun together on all our dates. I'm certain I'll get you to feel once more. And when you wake up, you'll feel like a whole new person. Oh, I mean when you wake up tomorrow. Sorry, brain slipped. I have to be honest, I was really hoping for something like this. It's selfish of me, but I truly feel like this was meant to be. Like I always wanted this. I mean, I enrolled in the same classes as you, right? And made sure to know where you were safe. Where you were at all times. I had to know you were okay. That's why I made sure I knew where you lived and made sure to follow you there just so I knew your route. So I knew you weren't going through any bad neighborhoods. And made it a point to find out where you were tonight. And now, perhaps, I'll finally be able to see what makes you tick. This obsession I've had for so long. Finally. Finally, it's mine. You're mine. <laughs> you don't agree? And pray tell, little bird. What makes you think you have a choice? Your friend didn't have a choice. Well, I suppose she did. She got to decide which parts of her body I could cut off first. She screamed so loudly I thought my phone screen would shatter. But luckily for us, I was still able to take pictures. <laughs> Like what you see. She won't be able to go out looking like that ever again. <laughs> I guess her crush may finally get sick of her. Not that you'll want to be with him from now on. I think you have your eyes set on another now. And your friend. You'll get to meet her soon too, you know. But... I can't say if she'll be in a talking mood. What with her jaw being removed. Tell me, darling. You say you don't know how to feel anymore. I wonder. Will you feel this? You just keep getting cuter and cuter. It's adorable. Don't try to fight it. There's nothing you can do. Your body is simply too weak. Rest now, darling. I'll take wonderful, wonderful care of you. My sweet little birdie. Ah, welcome back, sweetheart. Ready to feel again? Are you feeling awake now? We have so much to talk about. Any headaches? Any pain? Yet? Good, good. I want all your senses firing on all cylinders. You ever hear about Pavlov's dogs? It's a very interesting experiment. See, Pavlov wanted to see how dogs could respond to stimuli. 
He would ring a bell and give them food to a point where whenever the bell was rung, the dog salivated at the thought of getting a meal. It was, essentially, mind control. I wonder, will you beg like a dog for me when I ring a bell? I'm afraid I don't have a bell though, <laughs> so maybe I'll just snap my fingers and maybe we'll see where things lead, hmm? Darling, my precious little bird, your legs are shaking. I haven't even started yet. Is that a sign of terror? That won't do. It's not healthy for you to feel that way around me. You shouldn't, though. I... I love you. I care for you. You don't seem to understand how... Ravenous you make me. Ever since I laid eyes on you, ever since that first lecture where you could barely keep your eyes open, I've not been able to stop thinking about you. You're like a parasite, worming its way into every corner of my body, addicting me to you, devoting me to you. My body's drawn to you like a wolf to meat, making me want to <laughs> devour you. Oh! Oh, you... You thought... You thought I was gonna hurt you? <laughs> oh, silly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't have my bird's wings being clipped. She'll never learn to feel like that. That is... Unless you make me. I don't mind if it means you'll learn your place. I want you to be obedient. Because then I can take care of you that way. And you won't ever have to worry about a thing. I have all the money I could ever dream of, you see. I have all the space one could need. This property stretches on for miles. You'll never grow bored. We have a pool, a gym, a cinema room too, with massage chairs. We could stay in just one of those rooms for days. And you're more than safe here. Cameras are everywhere. I can see you. I will always be able to see you. I'll always be with you even when I'm not here. So, darling, what'll it be? The easy way? Or the hard way? Oh. Well, that is a shame. I was hoping to keep this basement clean tonight. Oh well. So... I suppose there's another choice for you to make. Taser... or drill. Taser? Well, you won't learn if that's what you want, will you? The drill it is. On you? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean on your crush. Here. Take a look. I brought him here myself. Well, him and along with your crush, they were there at the same time, would you believe it? <laughs> Two birds with one stone, I suppose. Well, I can't have you pining after him while I'm about, can I? And besides, I want to show you how weak he is. How pitiful his body is. Now, darling, whenever I snap my fingers like this, I'm going to drill a little bit further into his legs. And then... I'm going to ask you, who do you belong to? Now, it's very important you answer correctly. <laughs> because if you don't, well, 
This is going to take a lot, lot longer than anticipated. And I don't think he has enough blood in his body for that. So let's make sure we don't hesitate, darling. Now then, let's begin. Oh, oh. dinner's ready. I was hoping I could feed you while you were still conscious. You need to have your strength back, honey. Hold this for me, won't you, darling? I'll be right back. <laughs> Looks like he passed out. Again. Pitiful. And where do you think you're going, birdie? I'm surprised how easily that works. All I needed was for you to remember for a split moment. Trying to fly away? Not with one wing, you won't. <laughs> like that? I learned about dislocation in a class you were asleep at. I wonder if you remembered to study. If you did, you'll remember how to fix that arm. But darling, I never asked. Do you feel yet? No? Then how about this? You're making me do this, you know. <laughs> Can't you see that this is your fault? I love you. I want to give you the world. But you... You can't let me in! Why? Why are you making me do this? Stop! Stop! Don't make me do this! No! Come back! I need you! Please! 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 What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be running for your life? I tried to kill you. I... tried to kill the one thing I care about. But you're still here. Why? I... I almost broke you. What? Yes. Yes, I... I meant every word. I want to give you the world. I want to help you feel again. Nobody's ever wanted you like that. Well, nobody else sees you like I do. Another chance? Really? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. I I'll be whatever you want. I'm your... Just... Be myself? Nobody's ever wanted me like that. Huh. How about that? Well then. What... What happens now? Snap my fingers? Oh. Well, darling. By all means. <laughs>